channel. We're doing another video from the Grip Video Series. Today's going to be Volume 4. It's going to be my scenes only. Lots of cool drifting. Some cool shots. I hope you guys enjoy. Going to continue on with this series to get it out there to you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Another one, Street Kings. I'll catch you on the flip side. left Bronzo's house and uh, we're heading out to meet up with Trey, another Velocity guy. We're going to do some tailgate or at least we're going to go check it out. This is we've got somewhat warm days, 15 degrees, 14 degrees. We'll see, uh, <coughs> see if the, the, the ice has melted up there yet. Let's we'll see if we can do some tailgate. What's going on, Randy? How slippery it was. Mike was just testing the road to see how slippery it was. And we had some slip spots, slippery spots coming up. The tailwind was getting a little wild. So, and we might be okay tonight. If we can find a halfway decent place, then we can, we can have some fun. This is what we're gonna go drifting in. That's what we're gonna go drifting in. In the ice, below freezing, Kobu Pass. you don't drift on the street kids <laughs> I've been getting really lucky I've scraped, scraped the front end a little bit every once in a while so anyways how it happened was we were drifting through the S's and you transverse through the S's it's a left and then a right and a quick left and then you gotta set the car and go to the hairpin right the hairpin right is really tricky because if the road is crested real, well, like a lot in the middle so the front wheels, you, you got to keep them on the 
right side of the road, the oncoming lane of traffic. And that pulls you around the turn. And if you go a little bit, if you get the front end to get up over the crest, the whole car wants to slide over. So then when it's snowy and icy like this, and you can see all the ice all over the ground, it doesn't help. You, know, you don't have any room for air. And it's kind of stupid to do it anyway, but you know, we're stupid, so we do it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> what? what? Keep going. Is there anybody in the parking lot? No. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> We're dorks. <laughs> We're straight dorks. Go for it. Ready? Yeah. This is DJ Electric. DJ Electric. <laughs> We out tranced the car. Yeah. We out tranced the car, dude. The clock is out. The fucking stereo is not. We working. actually out tranced the car. The amp is out. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Oh, the fucking dash. The lights don't work either. Welcome to Border Racing, one of the most legendary racing companies in Tokyo, Japan. Owner Satomo Sashiyama started out as a famous street racer in his prefecture. Now he builds and tunes cars for both grip and drift racing. Border's popular line of body kits for Nissans, Toyotas, and Mazdas are designed by Sashiyama-san himself, as are the Border exhaust systems, suspension systems, turbo kits, and engine performance upgrades. The FRP hood from Border has garnered quite a bit of attention for its design. As opposed to the normal sandwiching of two fiberglass pieces, which decreases the durability of the hood and creates rough edges, having the outer layer curve over the edge creates strength and allows for better fitment and a smoother finish. It's designed exact to fit how it is instead of normal FRP sandwiched together like this where you gotta cut when you, when you open them all the time, they get loose and they lose shape. Or when you, if you ever fitted arrow parts, you know, you like the bumpers, you have to stand the corners. But the way he designed it, it's strong and it never changes its shape, so it's, it's, it lasts forever. Two of Border's most popular cars are Border's FD3 SRX7 and the Z32 Fairlady Z. The prototype wide-body RX7 is outfitted with
Fair Ladies have always been a popular sports car in Japan. Border has built this fully tuned Z32 with the following components. Led by a D1 competitor, Satoshi Suzuki, the Sexy Knights are famous for drifting in the industrial areas in Chiba as well as competing at various drifting events and competitions. Grip Video hooked up with Sexy Knights and several of their friends' teams, including Excite, Noisemaker, Tech Arts, Excellent Works, and Society. One car really caught our eye, the Tech Art Skyline GTS. The first thing you'll notice upon opening the hood is the V-configured intercooler radiator setup. By placing the intercooler above the radiator, heat is dissipated more easily as the intercooler is not blocking the radiator. The car's engine is not made to produce high horsepower, but to be well balanced and have a large amount of torque. This is important in drifting, where instant response is very important. The car is also stripped to make the car as light as possible. Drifters in Japan set up their daily drivers for full race, taking their sport very seriously, and always to the extreme. Broken tie rod sent the Tech Arts Levin into the curb. The teams got together to help push the car into a side street before the cops could arrive. This unfortunately ended this night of street drifting, but you can be sure to see more of the Sexy Knights, Excite, Tech Arts, Noisemaker, Excellent Works, and Society later in future group videos. <laughs> bye bye! Ronzo from Society Drift Team shares with us his feelings on the evening. It's a, it's a perfect day. If you could go home and... If I could go home and fuck some pussy, break my dick off on that shit, dude, just go to sleep, is is a perfect nine, dude. Who, who needs to die and go to heaven when you're living it already? 
It's the shit. Hey, does he want to race? Huh? Does he want to race? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, did you just stick that <laughs> shit in your mouth? Hey, taste it. E either it's salt or it's, it's <laughs> really fucking mouth. strong salt or it's <clears throat> somebody. What is that? So you Does it burn? Where'd you get it from? Oh. <laughs> get it from? Oh, it's all over the ground. See it? I don't think it's salt. The thing I don't understand really is like you're you're like eating salt. the shit. Taste it. You're salt. eating the shit. Li just lick it, dude. <laughs> See how strong it is, dude? It's fucking super strong. Dude, this shit is fucking insane. <laughs> this is potent, dude. Oh, here, dude, everyone's just gonna take a look at this. Everyone's gonna take a taste of the salt. It's ah. not salt, is it? It's like a nine volt battery. You know that, oh, that taste of the nine volt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just lick the ground. You 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 like the taste nine volt batteries? No. No, okay. Just I'm making sure. I don't know what kind of practices you have. Uh, I just like them on my testicles. <laughs> Right <laughs> and this road right here is like, there's one left hand turn that's so fucking tight, man. You're like, second gear, that's like the body of your car is like behind you. And they got the rumble strips. Oh, wow. He's driving and looking back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Buck up. There's people buying his like the, the kid, the little kid in the back there in the back seat of that car. He's like, mommy, mommy, look. Look at him. <laughs> zoom back, zoom back. What? He's gonna moon the camera. Okay. Copy that. Oh, there's, no. there's kids back there. Wait. Trey, Trey, there's kids. There's kids. There's kids. <laughs> All right, see this sign up here on this tree? The pink sign right there with a the chick on it, a little anime. 13,000 yen. The 60, and then that's local jupun. I mean, 60 minutes. You get four, 60 minutes for Ichiman and Sanzen yen. That's about $130. You can get a girl to come to your house. 24 hours a day, they're open. You just call that number, 042-539-0909. And uh, it says, Is it anything you can... Anything you can imagine or anything you want, you can have. 24 hours a day, 60 <laughs> minutes for 13,000 yen. And they even got a website. <laughs> www. I love this dot country. Dot JP. <laughs> Trey, so what's going on, dude? Mike's sleeping. He's about to see my ass cheek in his face. Gay. <laughs> You're talking about, you were talking about gay shit and you want to fucking stick your ass out there. <laughs> dude, you see Mike's eyes, dude? He's like... <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, I'm about to pass out too, Mike. Don't get mad. Same shit's gonna happen to him.
We got some snuffages nope. for his ass. <clears throat> I'm gonna run my penis across his lip. <laughs> Having some fun in the ice. Right. Cheap thrills. There you go. This is fucking scary. Do we come after you? Yeah, look at the pin. Hold on, let me get one. Get some trash. Here we are. It's the tenth frame. One pin remaining. Oh, but he can't get it down. Now it's Mike's turn. Trey standing ready. The wind up. That was weak. Style point, style point. <laughs> it's like so easy, man. We're such a knucklehead. <laughs> 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 well that was a cool little video I thought I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did I'm going to be continuing on with this series probably one more and I got some other content coming out for you guys so stand by I uh, threw on some videos pictures some little outtakes on the other side of this so stay tuned for that I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time and like I always say Stay salty, my friends. <laughs>